Yes, it is uh, possible to search for this uh, new future, sustainable future for the European science. I sincerely, tirelessly repeat that in my consciousness is unacceptable that every day we invest four billion dollars in military expenditures and in armament at the same time that 60,000 persons, the most of them children from one to five years are dying of hunger. Scientists can be at the forefront of the uh, social transformations, that the scientists can be in the European Parliament something more than uh, uh, sometimes an anecdotic appearance. No, we must promote knowledge as a whole. And then, yes, then the scientific community will be very strong. And the scientific community must be at the forefront of these immense transformations that are now coming more rapidly than some of those presently in the power consider. This democratic values, as it is said in the UNESCO's constitution, the justice, social justice, the equality that is the cornerstone of all democracy, the equal human dignity and uh, freedom and solidarity, intellectual and moral solidarity, in order to empower all the human beings that are able to create, that are able to invent, that are able to think, that are able really to be free, for the first time in history, we have three conditions that allow us not to be silent anymore, not to be obedient anymore, not to have uh, permanently this uh, uh, position of uh, being witness of what happens, but without being active and participants to the public power. The new technologies of information and communication allow us to do this. And uh, the second reason is that we have global consciousness. We know what is happening throughout the world. And so we can compare and we can appreciate more what we have and we can know where there are the basic human needs of all the other throughout the world. And third, but very important, for the first time in history, the power is not only an absolute male power. Now we start, we start this is very at the beginning, but we start having also women in the decision making. Women not mimetic of the exercise of the power by men, but acting in this change must have this mobilization in order that we can have an evolution. This means to keep what must be kept and to change what must be changed. We can have an evolution instead of a revolution. It's a, a fantastic statement of John Fitzgerald Kennedy in 1963 when he said, there is no any challenge that is placed beyond the human distinctive capacity to create. Therefore, let us invent the future. Let us to be, I repeat, the most committed, the most involved in these very important transitions in order that we have from now on in science the priorities, the world priorities, food, water, health, environment, these are energy, education, peace, these are the priorities worldwide. And this is what we must be today here in this meeting in Barcelona 
under the wings of euroscience and the crew and uh, of all these institutions that have promoted and those of you that are the champions of this change, I am sure that we can contribute to make this new beginning a reality. Thank you.